Janelle. Happy birthday. Happy birthdays to my Aquarian. Oh my God, Aquarian. What is happening? Happy birthdays. So this is reading is from um, the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. From the 10th until the 16th. So whoever is having birthday from the 10th until the 16th, happy birthdays, okay? All right, this is the week also of Valentine's. Happy Valentine, my darlings. Okay, this is going to be a good week and a good year. This is the birthday reading for the Aquarians. And you have your own energy. So you Aquarians are going to be very, 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 very lucky in this year. So if you were born from the 10th of February until the 16th of February, you are going to be extremely lucky. I take my glasses off because I can see these big cards, okay? So Aquarians, happy birthday, congratulations. So if you are born 10th of February until uh 16 of february you're going to be very lucky in this year okay so let's go in check in and see what's coming up for you aquarians so aquarians this is the solar year reading your solar year birthday reading so um let's see what is going to be happening what is coming in for the aquarian sun moon and rising sign so for the people congratulations who were born on the 10th you have the energy of the magician now the energy of the magician is going to give you a huge push and a new start this is going to be very very good um this is is as if the universe stopped in and said you have been going through so many issues here i am i'm giving you a good push and a new start and this is going to be good then we see the energy for the people who were born on the 11th you have um yeah uh the wheel of fortune congratulations people were born on the 11th congratulations luck is coming in for you guys so then for the people who were born on the 12th you have the energy of the hermit you're going within but if you are a psychic this year is going to be absolutely crazy okay this year is going to make you make a lot of money if you're a psychic another psychic energy is coming up where a lot of you are going to be finding spirituality to find your balance and find your strength so aquarians um that was born on the 13th you have the energy of the hangman the energy of the hangman is always about spirituality and it's always about balancing out situation and things around you it's all about you feel finding your balance in situation then as we look at the people who were born on the 14th, you have the energy of the devil. Now, whatever this issue and the situation is, I see you're going to be turning your back and walking away. Whatever negative issue and situation that comes up, I see you are going to be turning your back and walk away. I see the end is coming to a deceptive situation. Congratulations for whoever was born on the 15th of February because I see this is good. This is positive. It is going to be an absolutely positive year. Then I see for the people who were born on the 16th, you have the energy of the High Princess. The High Princess is coming in and the High Princess is going to be helping you. So there are three people people who were born on um 12 13 14 and 16 all right so on the 14 is the energy of the devil okay and on this day it's about sex and it's about connecting with someone it's about feeling it's about and this is the energy that you're going to be having throughout the year so people who were born on february 14 this is the energy you're going to be having towards the year so you're going to be having issues um with um things that you need to let go things that is holding you um to bondage that you're going to decide hey i'm letting this go because i see a tower moment that is going to be coming up for a lot of people i see a tower moment is going to be coming up so that means people are going to decide hey this thing has been in my entire life for so long and it's annoying me. So now I'm really going to get rid of it. So there we go. So I love your year because your year is about releasing stuff. And this is your solar birthday year. Please remember to share these videos 
and go back and share 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 these videos but go back and check out your weekly reading because your weekly reading is different than your solar birthday year reading and this is your solar birthday reading so let's jump in and see what is coming up for you guys so what we see we see a tower moment is coming down and what is transpiring is that a tower moment is coming down and if some of you have a relationship with a pisces cancer or a scorpion i see whatever is transpiring for this person um it's as if the universe is moving away someone something and creating new balance between you and this person so i see that some of you who are born on the tent uh, someone is going to be coming in and whoever comes in is going to be helping you to clear away things that no longer serve you so um a new relationship could start up and you realize that this person and the direction that this person is going in is the right direction for you so that is what is going to be transpiring so i'm seeing the energy of the magician which is a good energy um, it's as if someone is going to be coming in and is going to be helping you to move forward. Some of you are definitely going to be um, meeting um, a new person is going to be coming in and that is going to be good. I see justice comes up. So if some of you have some legal issue, you're going to be winning and winning big time. Justice comes up and this is very, very positive because it's on top. Um, justice is bringing in a new cycle to you. Justice with your um justice with um your business justice is coming up so this is going to be good so if there was some issues and situation i see that someone or people were blocking your process and um i see for you guys a lot of money is going to be coming in but i also see if you have your own business a lot of money is going to come in because now they're going to be realizing and seeing where you're going to and how you're moving forward and it's, it's going to be helping you so someone could have used or abused a situation that has to do with you moving up the ladder or having a good promotion and i see um like help is going to be coming in so that is going to be good so before i go any further um what i'm seeing now and what i'm what is transpiring is that the energy of the magician you guys have one, you have 16, you have seven. Um, and this is going to be helping you because 16 and seven is 16 is that you're clearing out things. You're creating new start and this is what is going to happen. And when you clear and release, you're, you're going to be on the good part. So you have one, 16 and seven for the people who were born on the, um, 11th, you have the wheel of fortune, which is one and zero. You have seven and then you have 11. Okay, so that is beautiful. You are working on duality and I see people who are studying is going to be successful. Um, whatever you decide to do in this year for the people who are born on the 11th is going to be brilliant. For the people who are born on the 12th, so remember, use um, 11, 7 and 10 and 1 and 0. Okay. For the people who are born on the 12th, I see you're dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. I see the truth is coming out about this person. I see definitely this person's secrets and truth is coming out about this person. So um, whatever is transpiring, I see you're shedding light. You're shedding light on things, secrets, people, and situation. You're shedding light on things, people, and situation so you're shedding light on a deceptive person a deceptive situation so um this is how you're clearing up things and shedding light on this sort of a thing and kind of standing your grounds and this is going to be good because a lot of you are going to be seen much clearer because the eye print says your spirit guides are going to be coming in so you guys have nine and two two and nine uh two and nine is twelve twelve is three okay so two and nine as we move forward and uh, some of you are going to be really moving forward um especially you people who were born on the 12 you're really going to be moving forward you're going to be understanding certain um aesthetic thing information i wisdom information is going to be coming in then i see you having um for the people who were born on uh, 
um, the 13 you have the energy of the angman so that is uh, 12 and 3 the energy of the angman 12 and 3 you're going to be having a new start because you're going to be going in and have new start I see some of you are going to be moving up the ladder some of you are going to be having high position jobs some of you I see you're going to be standing up for other people and this is going to be good I see some of you really standing up for other people I see a new start so promotion a lot of promotion and a lot of movement in the right direction I see some of you are going to be choosing um, to change jobs and get these eye prom promotional jobs and the doors are going to be opening for you guys so I see you guys going inwards and thinking what is it that I should do some of you could be going back to schooling going back to study something new change career but whatever position I see a lot of you are going to be taking up a position you being a business person and taking up that position so um, you have four and you have three um, you have twice three so 33 the ascendants masters as you go in meditation because the angman is going within and going in meditation connecting with your higher self this year it's going to be absolutely brilliant because it's as if you're going to be realizing the direction you should go in and the direction you should take okay as we look at the people who were born on valentine's day congratulations um some of you are um are holding on a relationship or staying in a relationship because of money some of you could be holding on on your money but I see some of you have it's like um, you 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 have a um, you're dealing with some issues and it has to do with money but you're holding on on your money and there's nothing wrong with you holding on on your money but do not let money be your foremost guide okay do not let money be your foremost guide because what i'm seeing coming up for some of you is that you could be so old and on on money that you're um pushing other people away and you're not realizing this okay so it is as if you yeah, just just hold on to what you have just keep what you have and realize how um important it is but save it's all about saving this year for you guys whatever is transpiring save i see a lot of you some money is going to be coming to you save there is some deceptiveness um with your partner some of you um could be um i can I come up with um some of you could be um holding too fast on your materialistic position and it's as if you know it's all about sharing but it's, it's it's coming up as if you're protecting your money from someone okay you're protecting your money from your child i see a lot of you are going to be protecting your financial stability from your child or from your partner it's as if you're holding on your resources and uh some of you are not letting your partner know about the resources that you have because it's as if you are not really get open up to the person to let the person know like you know your parents could have died and left you something and you don't want your partner because you don't know if they're in the relationship um only for you or for what you have okay there is a devil energy and that is always when people are bombarded with having money or is craved for money and that brings a lower energy that could be affecting you as a person but you're holding on tight to this money and the situation and as some of you um it's like you're you, you know you're not worried about money but you're just holding on to it i say a lot of you are going to be making sure that if anything happens to your your children or being balanced out i see new love is coming in so for the mention is as if you are oh my god what is that name um it's as if uh, um um you are bounded it's like you have a you have a weakness for money for some of you so be be, be aware you you need to balance out okay so you have four you have 15 which is six so a lot of you are going to be having a new baby some of you um could be pregnant but there is negative forces around you that is affecting your baby 
uh, new love is going to be coming in but this person who is coming in has lower energy this person this new love this that is coming in have lower energy it's all about the greed it's all about money okay it's as if uh, they have a weakness for money or you know they're they're bounded by you because of financial status and you're holding on your, your money and you're looking so it says mm, i don't know all right so um a lot of you if you were trying to get pregnant it's going to be getting pregnant a lot of you are going to be buying new houses could be you're buying new houses with people other people but you got to be aware of what you're doing okay so um for um 15 six and uh, um love is coming in okay so for the people who are born on valentine's day let's look at the people who are born on the 15th you have a cycle the end of a cycle and new love is coming in so you could be ending your relationship your marriage ending a situation ending a work situation whatever you're ending new love is coming in for you okay some of you could be giving birth to a baby in this year but this is absolutely beautiful because uh, whatever cycle you're ending the ace of cups is here and that is so beautiful for um you guys that was born on the 16 whatever cycle you're ending the ace of cups is here and this is absolutely beautiful because what this is doing is that it's bringing in positive alignment of energy i see if you were looking for a relationship this year is going to be very good um and i see you are going to be meeting some real nice people i see a lot of offers coming up for you guys whether it's uh, whatever you want it's going to be there for you and these are positive emotional situations so for the people who are born on the 16 this year is going to be a year that come in full circles meaning everything that you have always wanted and wish and hope for is going to be yours so then for the people and your number is one seven uh, 21 and 3 1 7 21 and 3 for the people who are born on the 16th if you are a psychic this year is going to bring you a lot of financial abundance so if you do readings if you're a psychic if you have a channel if you do coaching however you help um, a service you are going to be making a lot of money there is no question about this for the, the people who are born on the 16th because you have the energy of the eye princess and the eye princess is higher wisdom having higher wisdom in order to be of service to order is going to create a lot of financial abundance for you okay family stability is going to be coming up and i see now you're seeing where you're going now it's it's like some of you started out and you had no idea what is going to be happening no idea where you're going to go but i see networking is going to be coming in and people are going to be opening up doors doors that was not available for you is now going to be opening up so this is good this is positive it is positive alignment of energies for you guys in this year i see you guys are going to be having and and manifesting a lot of money in your life however that is coming it's a year of love and money okay so for you guys it's really a year of uh, love and money but it's not the love of money it's a year of new love and money okay so this is um really positive for you aquarians it is a beautiful layout it's a beautiful set you have your own energy vibration you're going to be starting new relationship new um um businesses um new services to other new connection if you're st uh, um, studying finishing off your study or studying something it, you're going to be just hitting the roof it is a very very positive year so um ladies and gentlemen for the people who were born on the 16th of february you have two you have eight you have ten you have one you have zero so if you notice uh, one and zero ten is always uh, like the energy of the omega it's the energy of the supreme is the energy of the mighty i am self is the wisdom is the i princess that is going to be coming in and helping you guys and helping you also to create a lot of financial abundance in your life so this year for you guys are really popping it's looking good 
because it's Valentine's, uh, um, I'm going to be drawing three cards to get what extra message for you birthday um, birthday people. I really love this. Remember, you can always order a birthday reading. I think it's 75, 75, and you get to see from your birthday now right back until your next birthday. And you're going to realize that everything that comes up is going to be helping you. So let's see at the three messages that is coming out for you guys. I see money already and I see love. So it's really a year of money and love. It's a year of transition. Okay. And it's a year of money and love. Okay. So um, it's going to be beautiful. There is absolutely no questions. And I'm always doing this. Yes. So, so what I see here um is uh, number 12 seems to be coming up a lot for you guys and 12 is uh, going within trying to find out who am i what it is and what is here is that seeking um seeing claire um you're going to be selling um um celebrating where money is going to be coming in helpers of emotions so a lot of you are going to be healing and clearing your emotions so we see the energy of uh, um, seeing clearly. It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the best gift to see the past, the current situation, and uh, envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The pause in the moment tell while you re rethink your plans won't last, okay? Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you so embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you so a lot of you are doing some clearing with the energy of the tower moment especially for the people who are born on the tent um then we see the people who are born on the 12 13 and 14 are going to be definitely doing some clearing so you guys have this energy because you're going to be doing some clearing and you're going to be seeing things clearly, especially for the people who are born on the 16th and uh, um, the 13th people on the, yeah, uh, approximately 12, 13 and 16 are going to be seeing things clearly in your life. And this is going to be beautiful. Now, when it comes on to money, we have um, the people who were born on uh, um, the 11th and the 16th and the 14th, 11, 16 and 14, you have three of abundance and it says your passion will lead to a divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking class, getting a monitor or teaming up with like mind people allow your creativity to sort and this is for the people who were born on the all of you as a matter of fact but especially for the people who were born on the um wheel of fortune the, the 11th the 16th and the 14th so money is definitely you're going to be creating money and also for the people who were um born with these energy of psychic energies you're going to be creating money with your financial and you're going to be creating a lot of openings for yourself so you could be also in a job but you're going to be having an extra job and that sort of a thing now love is definitely coming in the people who are born on the 14th you're going to be having some issues in your marriage or relationship and it is issues that is going to be caused by either kids or caused by money because i see you really holding on to your money and your kids I see you guys, if you wanted a kid, it's going to be coming in. I see helper of emotion, romance, um, blossom, and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters, and poems read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposal, wedding, and past life connection are possible. Someone new who is romantic, dreamy, and emotional may enter your life. This person could be an artist who is already there. So this is really wonderful because a lot of you and there's, yeah, there's a light. I can't, oh yeah, there. 
a lot of you a lot of romance romance is going to be in your world romance is going to be in your life so this is going to be absolutely beautiful um it's going to be powerful so enjoy and i'm wishing you guys a really really wonderful year um let me know how your year is going and um namaste